Hello and welcome to this channel. If you are a cellist who's working with electronic setups such as looper, pedal board, or through your computer, you might want to mic it at its best. Now take this into account. There are no correct or wrong way of micing your instrument. It is all depends on the taste and frequency spectrum that you'd like to capture and amplify it. Today I would like to share with you how I mic my cello with an instrument mic SEM2 by Saruni Audio. This is a microphone with an omnidirectional polar pattern. Omnidirectional microphones capture sound with equal gain from every side of the microphone. This means that whether the sound source comes from the front, back, left or right side, the microphone will record the signals all with equal gain. This miniature microphone covers frequency responses between 20 till 20,000 Hz with a dynamic range of 100 decibels. It does require a 48 volt phantom power and it is incredibly tiny. Look at this. Remember earlier when I said there is no correct or wrong way of micing your instrument? Now let's dive deeper into that. First of all, if you're playing metal or rock music that requires the pure crunchiness of this beautiful used to be classical instrument, you might want to aim to capture its sweet spot for the higher frequencies. You can achieve that by facing the microphone closer to the left side of your F-hole from the perspective of the cellist. This micing is good for you who plays lead and riffs. If that is not in your taste, try the opposite. The right side of the F-hole will allow you to capture more of your lower frequencies that will bring you to a warmer sound. This micing is perfect for you who plays pizzicato bass lines or low to mid pitch range leads. Another way to mic your cello is to aim on top of your what I call Arco playground area. This is very helpful if you're a cellist who has rhythmic responsibility such as chopping. You won't be able to escape the smallest bit of percussive quality in your bow strokes with this micing. I don't mic my cello with any of these three methods. What I always do is to face the microphone towards the center wood of the instrument, right under the strings in the Arco playground area. I like to capture the acoustic reflections and vibration that is happening on top of this wood, and by taking advantage of the omnidirectional polar pattern, I use the leakage from the original sound source which came from the strings from behind this microphone. Now let's go ahead into the audio interface. 
In this opportunity, I am using the Volt 2 by Universal Audio. In most cases, a microphone comes with an XLR connector. Make sure your gain is low and phantom power is off before to plug the XLR cable in. Connect the XLR to your audio interface. Once you plug it in, turn the phantom power on and start to raise the gain. In your DAW or Digital Audio Workstation, which in this case I am using Ableton for my live setup, start with making a new audio track. Choose the input channel where you plug it in from your audio interface, in this case I am in channel 1. Make sure the audio track is on, the master track is on, and you're good to go. That's more or less how to mic your cello. If you have another way of micing your instrument, feel free to share it down in the comment box below. My name is Alfian Emir Aditya. Thanks for watching and see you in another video. Bye!